Uh, we're joined by Reggie Hamilton. Uh, Reggie, can you talk about the atmosphere here going in as the third seed? Um, you guys are looking like you're a little more relaxed. It's going to be a coach team, especially. Um, well, we're taking the same routine that we did all throughout the season. You know, first day back off of a road trip. Uh, the first practice is usually, you know, light. Uh, we get up and down, get some shots up and things like that. But tomorrow we'll be back at it, you know, full intensity practice. Um, looking at the tournament field, you've been in the Summer League for a few years now. Do you remember a place like this for the conference tournament title? Um, I want to say my freshman year, um, where I was at, you know, we were at the bottom, but, you know, the top teams were IUPUI or Roberts, and I want to say, oh, I want to say Oakland was up there, you know, competing with things like it's that. It's very likely, yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> um, it, it, it was tight that year. Um, Next year, you know, North Dakota State, they, they had a, good, a great year. So I think this has been the first time that it's been this close, you know, where anybody can go in there and win it. So I'm, I'm excited, man. I think it's going to be real competitive. Talk about that head of steam you guys have, five straight in the tournament. Um, well, at this time of the year, this is the time where you want to peak. You know, you want to see all the little things coming together. And I think in the last couple of conference games, uh, we've seen just that. You know, we've been shooting the ball well, and uh, our low post defense has uh, it's, it's gotten way better, and as well as our perimeter defense. So you got to be excited about that going into the tournament. Question uh, that seems to be answered by your play, but we'll ask you too. Can can anyone stop you from scoring? It doesn't seem like it's found a good solution. Um, I, well, I don't like sounding cocky or anything like that. <laughs> you, uh, you guys know me, I never, I'm never cocky, but I, I, I honestly believe that there's no one that can stop me from playing. You know, if I miss a shot, it's because of me. It's not because of something that the defense did, because I live off, you know, great shots and, and things like that. So, um, honestly, I, I, don't, I haven't seen anyone that can, that can stop me yet. And even if I do come up short in the game, it's not because of the defenders, it's because I have a bad, bad night. That Brackbuster game a couple of weeks ago, I um, guess it was a four-point loss at Illinois State. But you guys come back and get those two wins. I mean, how, how did that game shape those final two games that you guys played? Oh, well, Illinois State, man, it's a great team. Uh, I, I felt we should have won that game, you know. Like I said, the little things here and there, uh, the little things showed in that game that we didn't. But it still it gave us more fuel to the fire, you know, knowing we can go to a uh, away game, uh, play a team like that on the road and play them hard. I mean, we, we led the game most of the way until the last few minutes and a half. So to, to go there and uh, play that type of a game, man, it's only builds confidence, you know. Um, the, the, if they were in our conference, they would be easily at the top of our conference as well. You guys have had the trouble where in the last couple of years where you guys were able to uh, put your, your, your foot on the opponent's uh, throat and, and finish off the game, so to speak, like that kind of phrase. Um, struggle with that a little bit this year, but do you think you guys are to a point where you can do that in the conference tournament setting? Um, well, honestly, last year I only remember like a couple of blowout games, you know. Uh, even with Benson and Hudson and, and Wright, we had some close games, you know. Uh, when we played North Dakota State here, that was close. When we played them away, it was close. You know, if we pulled away with any of those teams last year, it was within the last minute and a half of the game. So every game we played last year was close until that point. So. And if, if we can pull pull away in the conference tournament, then that's great. That means we did everything we needed to do. But at the end of the day, we only need to come out and, and win by one point. Now you've got Southern Utah third time, facing three times last year, and facing the third time this year. Um, has anything changed? I know we talked uh, after the senior night victory. We kind of talked, we thought you guys were going to play Southern Utah. What, what uh, I mean, do you have anything left, anything new to show them? Um, yeah, we uh, put a couple of new things in. But I, I, again, it was just ways for us to be creative. I don't think it was designed just for Southern Utah, but it was designed just for us being creative and adding more, more uh, punches to our, our, our weapon, repertoire. So nothing new for uh, Southern Utah as well as none of, the, none of the other teams. You know, they're a good team. They got seniors on their team, so you know, I'm expecting a, a good competitive game from them. Speaking of senior leadership, it's something you nece weren't necessarily called on for last year. The leadership aspect because there was. Benson, Will Hudson, Larry Wright. This season, you know, more or less, it's your team, it's your team. What, uh, what's it like guiding a team, you know, in a flock into a team? Um, well, no disrespect, but uh, I've been playing that leadership role even during my red shirt year. You know, uh, took a lot of notes from Jonathan Jones and, and things like that. And uh, Coach Tungay, he does a great job with, uh, with uh, 
Mexico and captain meetings as well. So last year, I mean, guys may not have thought I was the leader of the team because of our seniors, but uh, I was I was definitely the vocal leader, and that's carried on to this year as well. Speaking of leading, uh, I don't know if you've heard, but you've been number one in the nation right. scoring for a couple of days now. Do you feel any added pressure? Is that just something fun to look at? Well, it is kind of, you know, a lot of a lot of the media, you see it everywhere on Facebook, Twitter, guys writing on my wall, people sending me uh, tweets and things yeah, we like, like that. that stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's hard to ignore, you know, but I recognize it as a, a blessing and a huge accomplishment to all my hard work that paid off. And uh, I know I didn't get there by myself, you know, my coaches as well as my teammates, they put me in position to make plays. And fortunately, I, I, made, I made a lot of shots off, off of that, uh, that strategy. So I'm, I'm just thankful, you know, and growing up in the front yard all, all day, I used to think, man, I leading, leading something and scoring, you know what I'm saying? And for it to actually see that dream come true, I'm, I'm grateful, I'm thankful for it. It's, it's a huge blessing. All right, Reg, we'll catch up with you in uh, Sioux Falls this weekend. I appreciate the time. Yes, sir. Thank you.